Right, so we are here for the preview for the first game of the Premier League against Arsenal on Sunday. It's a two o'clock kickoff, so we kick off our season on Sunday against Arsenal. And uh, of course, I've got Sharky back as well again at 100% NUFC on YouTube. Well, Sharky, first game of the Premier League against Arsenal. How do you think it's going to go? It's going to be a tough match. We always seem to get a tough club on the opening day of the season. The advantage is we're at home. It's on TV. Steve Bruce's first game in charge as head coach. We've got some new signs in the door. Arsenal have got some new signs in the door. I think we've got every chance. I really do. A lot of people think there might be a slight chance because it all depends how Arsenal's defence turned up. I mean, it got absolutely loads of stick last season. It did, but David Luiz could be a very good shrewd signing for them. I mean, replacing Koscielny. Yes, he's 30 year old, or he may be a little bit older. I'm just can't remember. 32, uh, Luis. 32, but he's got the experience at Chelsea. I guess he was only fourth or fifth choice, but he's a good centre back on his day. Uh, we link up well with uh, Socrates and uh, Tierney as well from Celtic. You know, a young lad, 25. Like, that'll give him competition, but for him, uh, Monreal and uh, Kalazanak. Yeah, well, that's it. Like that's what the need for the new season, Arsenal. They're going to be wanting to try and get back into that Champions League spot, missing out last season. Did they lose? All six of the games uh, towards the back end of last season, they had to win one of them. Oh, I will. They pretty much lost their way until they won the last game. Uh, that was away to Burnley, but it, it's 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 definitely going to be an interesting one. It's like you can't say it is going to be a little bit hard to predict because if uh, if Arsenal's defence doesn't turn up, and if we play like Maximin, Joe Linton, and Almiron, we we'll, could definitely cause that defence problems at that rate. Yeah, that's it. Like Arsenal are very vulnerable at the back. We all know that. Because the new signings will want to make a good impact, you know, the first game in, I think we've got a very good chance of getting at Arsenal. You know, it's sort of the unknown. There's no form to go off. Arsenal, again, their pre-season's been very mixed. Ours has been decent. And obviously, cause, because and because we're at home, the crowd will be behind us. Obviously, you know, the boycott and things like that might have a little bit of an effect, but the new signings will want to make that impact on the pitch and forget about the boycott. Uh, I know they've have got a couple of injuries at the minute. I know I think Bellerin's still out injured for them. I think Rob Holden's not back fit yet. And I heard Lacazette could be actually be doubtful from what I heard. I think. Yeah, that's it. I mean, Lacazette would be a huge miss for them. But you've still got Abamyang there. You've still got Özil. You've got Torreira. Uh, they've still got some good players now that can cause damage on the day. So we just need to be defensively sound. I mean, Steve Bruce, you know, likes to play the Christmas tree formation. You know, the five-three-two formation, the wing-back system, which I think could cause Arsenal problems. Well, and let's now get into the predicted lineup on uh, Sunday. Like we think, it will be a definite wing back system. So we're going to start off in goal. It's going to be Martin Dubravka, obviously. I agree. Absolutely. Well, you can't drop. He's been our class keeper for a long time now. Well, that's it. There was talk about him leaving, but that's never going to happen. Okay, so we'll go into the back three, which I think will happen. I'm going to start in the right centre back, Fabian Shaw. Agree. I think he's a good, solid centre back and he, he does like to get forward. I mean, he does have the odd goal in him, so aka Burnley. Middle centre back, I think it'll be Jamal Lascelles. Yeah, club captain, isn't he? I mean, he's a real rock at the back. Uh, he likes to the defensive side of things and we're going to need him on Sunday. Left centre back, I'm actually going to go with Paul Dummett for this one. Yeah, I think because he's obviously the one who's your first choice. Uh, he has he hasn't he hasn't not yet, yeah like he hasn't put a foot wrong really since uh, managing well since managing again the squad under Benitez of case Steve Bruce he hasn't done too bad in pre-season so yes Paul Dummett uh, yeah, because I don't think even if Lejeune comes back I don't think he'll be hoist straight in the start lineup from that as another serious knee injury he's got yeah I still think he's got a few more weeks out so I think safe option keep keep him in the squad right I'm gonna go into the wing backs are starting off in the right wing back I'm gonna go with the new lad Kraft. I said that in your video before this one. Yeah, I agree. New lad. Um, he's got experience playing in the World Cup. Five million pound. You know, it could go one way or the other. And he, he likes the defensive side of things, which Bruce also likes. So if he doesn't start, I think the other one would be Mankio because he's playing pre-season with the Edlin hasn't. Mankio as well has had a good pre-season. Hasn't really put a foot wrong. So there's going to be a competition there. Yedlin seems to be pushed out in the background a little bit. Whether he leaves, this is before the game, of course. That remains to be seen. Left... All right, into the left wing back, I'm going to go with another new signing, Williams, for this one, because uh, Matt Ritchie's going to be out with a hamstring injury, so he, he'll definitely miss the start of the season for maybe a few weeks. Don't know what, how long we've heard he's going to be out for completely for you. Yeah, like it's like for like, I mean, he's coming on loan from... Well, I forgot what the club was now. But anyway, he's, he's, uh, he's going to offer something as well. He likes to get forward as well, so it's, it's a 
didn't mix a match really. Um, obviously, with Richie pulling up an injury, it's it's life like replacement. Well, then I'm going to go into two centre midfielders for this one, actually. So I'm not going to go with a three, I've decided. So one of them I'm going to start is John Joe Shelby. Yeah, I mean, he scored a, a good goal in pre-season. Um, a very good player on his day, can make something happen. Just as long as he gets the service in that midfield, you know, he'll drive you forward and he'll cause problems. Alongside, I'm going to go with Sean Longstaff. Again, another young lad, you know, local lad from the area. Someone who likes to get forward. Um, obviously, at the minute he's been outdone by his brother, who scored that worldy goal against us at the end. But you know, why would you drop Sean Longstaff? You know, he's brilliant last season. Of course, the injuries sort of got in the way, but he's a real talent, isn't he? Oh, absolutely. So, ended of course the attack and three. So, starting off on that right hand side of the attack up is the three forwards. On the right, I'm going to go with the new one, another new one, Alan Saint Maximin. The lad's going to be deadly. He's got pace. He's got trickery. He's got skill. And he knows how to get the ball forward. He knows, he knows how to cause problems. And I think uh, Arsenal will have some problems on Sunday, no question. And it's all about what it maximum you're going to get because you've heard Bruce in the press conference say he's a player who can frustrate you on the day, but he's a player also who can be positive and, you know, can be like a deadly forward. Um, I'm going off on. Yeah, it's, he's one of them who, you know, could be a will-beater. That's what I was about to say. On the left, I'm going to go with Miguel Almiron. Yes, uh, he's not had the best of pre-seasons, truth be told. He has had chances, he's just going to learn to take them. He seems to play the game a bit too quickly. He just needs to slow down in there. You know, that's the thought of John Anderson on Radio Newcastle. And I agree with him. I think he just needs to just slow down. He does need a goal. I do agree with that. But he is, uh, you know, a real talent. He's very quick. He likes to get the ball forward. And you've seen some of the assists, you know, from last season. And in the middle, on, up front, it's going to be Joe Linton. Yeah, like I say, he's come from Hoffenheim. He's only scored seven goals this season, but he's got two and two uh, in pre-season. He's looking very good. I think he's someone who can definitely um, score with goals next season. I'd like to think he's got, or he's going to get double figures. It just depends whether or not he gets a service. That's what it's down to. Uh, right then, what's your score prediction for Sunday? Um, I think it's going to be a tough one. You know, Arsenal will come with a game plan. There's no question they're going to have more of the ball than us. They're going to want to come and get three points. They're going to have to get a good start of the season as uh, obviously the disappointing fifth. Because we're at home, I don't think we're going to have any fear. I'm going to go for a 1-1 one -one draw. And I reckon Joe Linton is going to score. You're going for 1-1. One -one. I'm going to go for 2-2 two -two, actually. Well, let in the comment section what you think will happen on Sunday on our first game against Arsenal. What would your predicted lineup be and what do you think your score prediction will be? As I said, let me know in the comment section. Thank you for watching. That is your preview done. Uh, give me a like, comment. As I've said, if you're also new and haven't checked me out, please make sure you do hit that subscribe button. And of course, check out Sharky's channel as well at 100% NUFC on YouTube. And I will catch you all later. Looking forward to the new season kicking off.